hello friends and welcome back to the channel today's video is about growing your edges after severe postpartum shedding and thinning i will be telling you how i grew my edges from this to this i will also share with you three tips for dealing with postpartum hair loss so if you want to see how i was able to do that then please stay tuned for the video and watch till the end to find out the product and how I use them. Welcome back friends. Before we get to the video, if this is your first time stopping by, you are so welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you all. As I said before, I will share with you exactly how to grow back your edges, specifically how I grew those edges of mine. I have experienced postpartum shedding twice, a minor shedding in 2018 and a severe shedding in January of 2020. I did talk about it in my five year natural hair journey video. So please take the time to watch the video if you have not already. The link should pop up right now. Yes, here it is. So please take the time to watch it. Postpartum shedding is hair loss after pregnancy or hair loss post delivery. Postpartum is very common in women. Research shows that approximately 88.7% of women experience some degree of hair loss beginning from the second to the fourth month postpartum. It could be minor or severe hair loss. Out of the 88.7% of women who experience postpartum shedding, 75 of the hair loss occurred towards the front of the scalp. 13% of the participants had hair loss spread over the entire area of the scalp. Postpartum shedding is temporary and most hair often grow back before the one year mark. First tip is to be gentle. Be gentle with your hair during your shedding season to prevent excessive hair loss. If you can, avoid tight braids, avoid pulling your hair into tight ponytails, avoid wearing wigs with glue, just avoid manipulation of your hair. Tip number two. Shampoo only when necessary and use a good conditioner and a wide tooth comb to minimize tangling. I shampoo my hair once a month and co-wash when necessary. Tip number three, skip blow dryers, curling and straightening section if you can until the shedding stops. Finally, we are at the product. Um, after losing my edges due to postpartum shedding, I started to restore my edges with these two products. Now, the first product is my go-to oil. I have been using this oil since I started my natural hair journey five years ago. And the oil is African Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. So this, hope you can see, it is African Best Ultimate herbal oil um, it is a revitalizing multi-purpose oil for hair bath nails and body you can use it as a hot oil treatment or you can just squeeze small amounts into your palm and massage into hair to lubricate dry hair now this this oil is really good i have been using this oil um, as i said it is my go-to oil now, one thing that I love about this oil is it is affordable. It is $1.99 and um, it has a lot in it. Yes. So this is the first product. Second product, which I believe aid in growing my edges um, fast, is rice water. Yes, you heard me rice water i was very skeptical about using rice water because um there have been so many ravings about rice water on youtube which seems 
to good to be true. So I did my research and decided to give it a try and I am glad I did. As of now, there have not been any scientifically proven studies to show that rice water can grow your natural hair fast. But there have been tested benefit of rice water. Rice water stimulates hair growth, it removes dandruffs, it strengthens hair cuticles, strengthens strands, improves the appearance of your hair, it is rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. It prevents hair loss and premature grain. It contains inositol. Hope I got it right. Inositol, which can repair damaged hair. So how did I use these two products to grow my edges? First, you have to prepare your rice water. Any kind of rice will do, just wash the rice, put it in an airtight container, add water to it, and let it sit for 24 to 48 hours to ferment. So after the fermentation, it is ready to use. So this rice water has been sitting out for 48 hours. So what I do is I pour these rice water in my spray bottle and dilute it. Um, just dilute it a bit because it is, it is too concentrated. Then I will add in my oil. There we go. So my rice water oil solution is ready to be used. The main reason why I added a lot of oil to the solution is that um, rice water did dry my hair the first two days that I used, so I decided to add in more oil. This is the solution that helped to grow my edges. Yeah. So the first month I applied this every day on my edges. Yes. Now, one thing I forget to mention about rice water is that rice water is rich in protein. Now, the more protein you use on your hair, your hair is likely to break. I would just spray. edges and gently massage my edges the second month I was spraying my edges every other day the third month twice a week and currently I am just spraying my edges once a week with the solution so with my entire hair I did the rice water rinse once a month. Right after shampooing and deep conditioning my hair, I will soak my hair with the rice water. And let it sit for 30 minutes to one hour, then rinse the rice water from my hair. Yes, and then I plan on using the rice water. I, I, I wanna add it to my regime. So once a month when I shampoo my hair, I will be doing the rice water rinse. So, these are the two products that really grew back my edges. Now, I will show you the edges. So, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Um, so till I come your way once again with another video, be blessed and be safe. God bless you all. Bye-bye.